and many fled to blood. Right, that is the ram's horn it was blowing we are getting ready to do the will of the father right now in the mighty name of jesus the christ yeshua heavenly father i come to you in the mighty name of jesus the christ yeshua i ask you holy spirit to just come in rise up within me so i can preach and teach this word of prophecy that you gave me in prayer i thank you right now for whoever is seeing it whoever clicked on they will see me live and whoever didn't they will see it pre-recorded i thank you right now in the mighty name of jesus the christ yeshua father god i ask you to just move like only you can move i ask you to just just speak through my vocal cords, Holy Spirit, so I can say exactly what you want me to say in Jesus' most mighty name. Amen to the Father, amen to the Son, and amen to the Holy Spirit. My God, my God, my God. I thought I turned this thing down and it actually kept going. <laughs> I tell you, when you're trying to do something for the Father, you get all kind of things. But this word is from the Lord. For the month of January, God has given me the word prophecy or the prophetic. The message that I spoke, I had a lot of warfare when I started to preach the word of God for January of 2016. This is the last Wednesday of the month, and it is also the last message for the month. Our next message will be on Sunday, um, the last message on prophecy. Our next message will be on Sunday on the Holy Spirit. So god wanted me to uh just start this evening and talking about prophecy what is it prophecy is a prediction about the future and the end time a special messenger from god often uttered through human spokesmen which indicate the divine will for mankind on earth and in heaven. So prophecy is a prediction and it's a prediction of the future and it's for the end time. You hear people talking about the end time prophet and we're gonna break this down for us, the end time prediction Amagata and intervention. Now, prediction, because that's what prophecy is, it's a prediction about the future. Prediction is a statement about what will happen or might happen in the future. The act of saying what will happen in the future. A forecast, but not only about the weather. So a prediction is you saying or the prophet that God has placed in your in your um, in your face. <laughs> I, I say it like that because I'm in your face right now, and he's giving me this to tell you. 
so you can understand what a prophecy is. And I remember in my message for January, I talked about how in the beginning of the year, everybody's going to do their prediction and tell what does said the Lord. Some are saying what does said the Lord for this year, 2016. And some is are just talking of what they feel in their flesh or what the enemy might have told them. But a prediction is something, a statement about the will, about what will happen or might happen in the future. I remember, uh, I think I talked about in, in my message how God had given me dreams. And the dream was about uh, this ground being torn up. And I kept having this, having this dream over and over and over again, which 30 something years later came to pass because it was a place where I lived when I was a child. And God was showing me then that he's getting ready to tear up those grounds and rebuild something that's going to be better than what it is at that time. It was a lot of calamity going on as far as um, people killing people. Um, we did have fun in that environment. I remember uh, skating down hills and everything else, but it was a lot of things wrong with that area. And I cried and cried and cried because I wanted to leave. But God was showing me in his way a prophecy that was of dreams that he was going to tear that place down. And like I said, 30 something years later, at this time, it's torn down. It was also one particular place that he showed me that was going to be still there. It was a little store. We call it the market. And after the place was torn down, that market is still standing today. So that was a prediction in a dream that God gave me and it came to pass 30 something years later. So the prediction may be for a week, maybe for a month, maybe for a year, maybe several years, like mine was, was 30 something years later. I also remember a um, uh, man of God that when I lived in the Atlanta area, I had, he was my pastor at that time. And he, he's a prophet. And he talked about what was going to happen in 2035. And at the time when he was speaking that prophecy, it's like I was there. It's like my spirit left where I was and went to that area, what he was talking about. Now, I don't even, to this day, I don't remember what it was. But at that time, when the man of God, the prophet spoke, I heard and I, my spirit went there. And that's interesting because a lot of times God will put me in a place and my spirit will be somewhere else, but my body is physically there. And it's, it's in a prophetic way because later on, my body and my spirit is there. And it's what a lot of people will call deja vu. Like I've been here before, I walked here before, I did this before, but God would literally take me there. And it's a lot of other people that are out there like this and they feel like they are strange, but they're not. That is God showing you a prophecy and 
He may have spoken to you in your spirit. He may have spoken through another man or woman of God in his confirmation in your spirit, but is a prediction of what is getting ready to happen in the future. The next thing he told me to bring to your attention on this evening is in time. Now, in time, in time is the end of days, the last days the time of the uh, prophesied end of the world, Armageddon. And I know you all heard of this, Armageddon. You all heard of the end times and you heard of end time prophets. Uh, they will come and they will speak a prediction. They will speak a prophecy and it will come to pass. But it may not come to pass right away. It's going to come to pass in the end times. It's what God is telling his people, warning his people, so we will be ready and prepared for when it happens. That's mostly why the prophecy will come. So you can be prepared for what God is getting ready to do because he speaks it to his prophet first. And then it comes to pass. So Amagata is the mountain of Mega Megadago do. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right. It's M-E-G-I-D-D-O. So if I didn't pronounce it correctly, I'm hoping that you can get it. It's the site of the final battle of the age in which God intervenes to destroy the armies of Satan and cast Satan into the bottomless pit. Now, that's what Armageddon is, is they're on this mountain and is in, is in uh, Jerusalem. And <clears throat> because everything is going to come back to where Jesus left. Uh, but God is intervening or interceding on behalf of his people because as you know at the end Satan's kingdom will go into the bottomless pit. I have several messages that God has been giving me and I do believe now that he's given me this because it's of the end time and I'm and I am in the you can say, I am one of the end time prophets, which God will give a message to his people. And it's a warning message to get you ready for his coming. Because if you don't hear, have an ear to hear what the spirit of the living God is saying through his prophets, then you will be with Satan, cast out with Satan in the bottomless pit. So an intervention is to come to come on occurrence between two times or event to become involved in something such as a conflict in order to have an influence on what happens to happen as an unrelated event that causes a delay or problem. I want you to kind of ponder, intervene. God is going to be our intervention. He is going to intervene or um, be there on our behalf. He is there on our behalf. Jesus right now is interceding on the uh, right hand of the Father in heaven. And he is here with the Holy Spirit is here tonight to help you to see what is getting ready to happen with the prophecy in the end time. 
Now, he wanted me to go to Revelation 16, 16 through 21. And the 21st verse of the chapter of 16, I am to read it in the Amplifier. So I want to break this down for you because, like I said, when it comes to me coming into this camera and talking about prophecy, it's always a warfare that goes on because God's word is coming to pass no matter what. And he's going to do what he's going to do through his prophets. We are here on earth to do the will of the Father. And as we do the will of the Father, it's always an adversary that's tried to come in to block or stop God's word. But don't you know that God's word, word will come to pass, whether it comes through my vocal cords or through whomever he has chosen to come to do his will. So right now, this is more of the prophecy, and he is telling you the prediction, the end time, and Armageddon. He is telling you that it is getting close to Jesus' second coming, and the war of the world is coming. Now, before I get into Revelation 16, 16 through 21, I remember uh, looking at TV here in Richmond, Virginia Market, USA, and it's a new show that's getting ready to start, and it's called Lucifer. Now, I found out that was very interesting because it's not so much as he's in the world. Now he's on all media and God has us on media. He has us on Christian television and he has us in all kind of different arenas to get his word out because Satan is getting to a point where he know the time is getting close. So he's trying to gather up as many people as he can to come with him to go into this bottomless pit at Armageddon. But God is here with his prophecy, with his prediction, with his end time prophets to get this word out to you so you can be saved and you won't go in to this bottomless pit. Now, when I was getting ready to put my little TV camera and everything together, I every time I come in this particular room, which is my studio now, I have some issues going on. I plug up a light, it blew. I remember the first time I tried to set up everything, I had to get batteries. I had all kind of little issues that will pop up. But God's will will be done. No matter what, this prophecy that he's given me about the prediction, so you can understand what prophecy is, about the end time, so you can understand what he's trying to speak into the world now, it's time for you to get ready and Armageddon is when everything, the calamity come, the end time, the, the world is coming to an end and everybody that's going to heaven will go and everybody that's going to hell will go. So right now in Revelation 16, 16, it states as follows. And he gathered them together. This is the King James Version into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. That's the Hebrew tongue. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. Whoa, let me read that again. 
And the seventh angel poured out his vow into the air. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. This is the word of the Lord. Have an ear to hear what the spirit is saying through my vocal cords right now. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings and there was a great earthquake such as was not since men were upon the earth so mightily an earthquake and so great. This has never happened before. This type of earthquake that's getting ready to happen at this time of Armageddon. So we have seen earthquakes, but this is greater than any earthquake that has ever been done before. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the city of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his war. Wow, I don't want to be there. I don't know if you came anywhere close to God's war, but that's his anger. And it's not a good picture. It's worse than any anger that you ever seen before. And it's fierce. God is tired of the mess. And every island fell away and the mountains were not found. All the islands of the world fell away and the mountains were not found. Now I live here in Richmond, Virginia. I can go to Charlottesville, Virginia, and a lot of uh, other places. There's so many mountains, they are so beautiful. And they're gonna be all gone. The 21st verse, I'm reading that in the Amplifier. A great, exceedingly oppressive hailstones as heavy as a talent between 50 and 60 pounds. Hailstones as big as 50 and 60 pounds. Think about 50 and 60 pound weights. Think about that falling out of the sky hailstones of immense size fell from the sky on the people and men blaspheme God for the plague of the hall of the hell so very great was the torment of the plagues and my amplifier goes back to uh, Exodus 9.23. So we're going to go there and see what that was all about. But all I'm saying right now, all God is speaking right now is for you to get your life right with him. Because he is sending his end time prophets to do his work, to say what he wants to say, what's coming from the heavenly throne. God is speaking it. So you better get ready. So Exodus 23 says, and Moses stretched forth his rod toward heaven. And the Lord sent thunder and hail, and the fire ran along upon the ground. And the Lord rained hell upon the land of Egypt. This was a time of the plagues that was going on and the disobedience of the people of God and what happened. I want you to understand that God in prophecy, a prophecy comes right from the heavenly throne. 
And he sent his men and women, prophets or prophetess, he sent them to do his work, to speak his word. And the ones that are called to this office, this is an office, the prophets that get their word directly from heaven from to speak to the people all over the world are the one that are being chased by the enemy the hardest. It's so many things that I can tell you that I've been through because of this prophetic call. But God has given me favor and he has told me exactly what he wanted me to do. As long as I do his will here on earth, then he is pleased. So I'm not worried about any satanic attacks because they will come, but I'm covered with the blood of Jesus. And you are covered too. Prophecy, a prediction about the future and end time. Special messengers, that's me, a special messenger from God often uttered through human spokesmen, which indicate the divine will for mankind on earth and in heaven. All I'm saying is the word prophecy is from God. It's a spokesperson from God. They predict the future, the end time, the Armageddon, and the will of the Father. The Armageddon is, at that time, we spoke about that earlier, what the Armageddon is, and it's, it's, it's a site of the final battle of this age in which God intervenes to destroy the armies of Satan and cast Satan into the bottomless pit. So listen for the prophecy Know that it's of God because you will find it in his word and hear what the voice of the Lord is saying through his prophets so you will be aware of what's coming in your future. Father God, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, Yeshua. I thank you for this word prophecy. I thank you for how you broke it down so simply in this Bible study class tonight. I ask you right now to help the hearers to understand each word that came out of my mouth through their earlobes. Holy Spirit, touch their minds, their spirits, so they can learn more about prophecy. And when a prophecy comes to their in to their path, in their path, they will know that it's from the heavenly throne and know that it's from you. I ask you to help them to have an ear to hear the voice of the Lord. Holy Spirit, you are the spirit of the living God and you have control over all things because God has control over all things. And we will get into more of who you are on Sunday. But I thank you right now for being here. I thank you right now for helping me in this prayer. And I honor you for helping me to lead your people in the right direction of prophecy. In Jesus Yeshua's name. Amen to the Father. Amen to the Son. Amen to the Holy Ghost. If you want to know more about prophecy, the gifts of the Spirit, make sure that you uh, check out our commercial on the School of the Prophets channel. And we also have it on our other channel of Jesus Deliver International Ministry. Make sure you take time out to look at that and look forward to Jesus Deliver International Ministry on Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m., on our message of the um, the Holy Spirit. I thank you for tuning in tonight and God bless you.